Check out that butterfly. Looks evil. Wow, judgmental. What's those little windows down there? I think they're there for draining rainwater. Oh. My little writing desk. It's kind of cute. There's nothing written in the book, although someone's torn a page out of the middle. They're bird cages, but the birds are coming and going freely. Is that a metaphor? Oh, it totally is. I don't like mirrors. They steal your soul. How do you get your hair so symmetrical without using a mirror? I do it by weight. I can feel if one side is heavier than the other. I feel like I'm standing in a giant bird cage. An especially fancy cage. And it's home to three especially fancy birds. What is it? Huh? Sort of a delicate jade, but what about little seafoam green, is that right? Sorry? Your hair, dear! Which shade do you use? It's lovely! And that shape, you're really pushing the envelope. Oh, thanks. I do what I can to offset Grimoire's beige on brown ensemble. Detectives don't need to be brightly colored. We prefer to blend into the background. You're the detective. Delightful. Penny Pointer, pleasure. Is that short for Penelope? Officially, yes, but I never can be bothered with all four syllables of it. Penelope sounds a little ostentatious coming out of the mouth, don't you think? Uh, sure. Yeah. Twenty-something. Aquarius. Love to travel. And nearly all of my friends are birds. Travel? Where to? Anywhere at all, as long as it has species worth studying. Ornithology, they call it. I call it the only thing I've ever been good at. And have you studied the birds here at Tangle Tower? <laughs> but of course! Where else do you think I developed my love of the field? No matter where I go, I always find myself coming home to Tangle Tower. Because of the birds? Oh, no, because of him! Silly to admit, but I suppose I can't bear for us to be apart. Who are you talking about? Hmm? Oh, don't you know? My fiancé, dear Fitz. He's not really the traveling type, you see. Fitz Fellow. The very one. You're engaged to a member of the Fellow family? That's interesting. Hmm. I'm not especially interested in whatever tedious feuding goes on between our two families. Fitz and I find it much easier to stay out of it altogether. I awoke early and headed down into the greenhouse to see Fitz. He's always there, crack of dawn, every morning like clockwork. How come? It's where he's happiest. That and he has a great deal of work to do every day, watering, pruning, mulching, whatever that is. Do you help him with the work in the greenhouse? Oh, no, no. <laughs> I wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> I'd probably break something. So, you stayed with Fitz the whole day? No. In the early afternoon, he went back inside. Rather suddenly, as it happens. Did he say why? He didn't. Probably just a touch of heat stroke, the poor dear. He's more delicate than you'd think. What did you do after that? Let's see. I returned to the aviary to feed my birds. And how many birds are you responsible for? Officially four, but in truth it's more like 400. Can they not feed themselves? Of course, and they often do, but I think they just like the company. As do I. Sometime in the evening, I left the aviary and headed back towards my room, but... In the hall, I spotted Uncle Pointer heading down the stairs. He was muttering something. Seemed a bit upset, the poor dear. I followed him down, but the grand hall was empty by the time I got there. Empty aside from Detective Hawkshaw, who was loitering over by the library. 
I don't know what it was, but she looked a little lost. I inquired about the professor, and she told me he'd gone up the fellow tower. I ran up the stairs, hoping to catch up with him, but Felix appeared and blocked my path. For some reason, he was coming out of Fitz's bedroom. He looked rather lost, too. I told him I was looking for Uncle. He suggested we look up in Flora's tower room. We could see from the hallway. The door was off its hinges. I knew then something was terribly wrong. A moment later, we were gazing down on the body of poor Freya. Uncle Pointer was there. Fitz, too. Standing over in the corner with Fifi and Poppy. What about Flora? Of course, silent as ever. Uncle suggested we should leave. Give the others some space, you know. So he and I both returned to our rooms in Pointer Tower. We can get into Penny's room now. Now? Like, right now? Even though we're halfway up a tower, someone's been tracking in mud from outside. Painting supplies. Painting supplies. It's a fish, I think? I think it looks more like a whale. Fine, it's a whale. Could also be a shark. Freya's bear. Looks pretty depressed. He's had a rough couple of days. That painting is really something. Why would you want it looming over your bed like that? Maybe Frey enjoy the atmosphere it creates. The atmosphere of chaos and oppression? Hang on. There is a smaller version down by the floor. It's a photograph. Really Why would you want it looming over your bed like that? Maybe Freya enjoyed the atmosphere it creates. The atmosphere. Hang on, there is a smaller it's version. It's a photograph. It's a little wooden box for paintbrushes. To the casual observer, maybe. They're not real paintbrushes. Looks like they're part of some kind of lock mechanism. in the box. Just a photograph. Well, most of a photograph. Freya's plants. They must not need sunlight? pillow with a paw print pattern. It's a cushion. Yeah, but that doesn't alliterate. It's Freya's bed. A little bit messy. It's a perfectly healthy amount of messy. Do you think this was always supposed to be a bedroom? I don't know. It is kind of a weird shape. 
No windows either. Not the kind of lamp I choose for my bedroom, but fair enough. It's cool. Looks like old mining equipment or something. It's a little glass box. I think it's a vivarium. Come again? See the leaves and twigs in there? Might have been for keeping insects. That's weird. What did you find in the drawers? Nothing. They're completely empty. 